This video will go over how to create custom alerts within the alert settings page of FeedbackWiz. Once you locate the alert settings page, you'll be able to see this custom alerts table, which already displays all of the alerts created. And to create one from scratch, you're gonna just go ahead and click this create alert option and a pop-up will appear. Each service will have its own condition, subcondition, and frequency to select. So you have the option for services such as email summary, feedback manager, order manager, product monitoring, and profits. So if you wanted to only be alerted for email summaries, you'll go ahead and click email summary, select the frequency, and then go ahead and add the email notification recipient below by clicking here and these are already lists created by you but you can go ahead and create your own list to add any new email recipient below. For feedback manager the service you'll be able to select the condition feedback rating or removal. Under rating you have the subcondition options as any rating, rating, positive, neutral, or negative. And for order manager you have the ability to select the condition order refund, units per order, units sold, and order volume aggregate. For product monitoring, you're able to select any of the conditions such as product review, title, main image, hijacker, bestseller rank, buy box, description, brand, manufacturer, dimensions, listing price, main category, and adult flag. Then product reviews, you have that selected as your condition. These are your subconditions, which is any type of rating. And then for profits service, you're able to add any of these conditions for your custom alert, such as being alerted for revenue, cost, net profit, or margins. We're gonna go ahead and click on net profit. And within that, you have the subcondition as summary, amount, amount change, or percent change. If you were to click percent change, you're able to select the range and the frequency as well. But for this video, I'm gonna go over how to select product monitoring and we're going to go ahead and create a custom alert for product monitoring and the option for condition would be product review. I want to be alerted for any negative reviews I receive and for which products I'm going to receive this alert for. That's what I'm going to select here. You can go ahead and click manage list if you don't already have one created. A pop up will appear and these are lists that you've already created. So you have all products, that means you have all your 42 ASINs within this list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list from scratch. And within this list, I want just these top three products selected to alert me for any negative reviews for these three products. I'm just going to go ahead and name this list negative reviews. Once it's selected, I'm going to go ahead and click Create List, and then I'll be able to exit out of this. And for the product list, I'm just going to scroll down. Here's the list I just created for negative reviews. You're able to select more than one list at a time as well. And then for subscriber list, I'm just going to go ahead and click Manage List, Create List, and if I wanted to add any specific email recipient, I'm able to right there. But as of right now, I'm just going to have Customer Service as the main subscriber right here for these alerts for negative reviews. I'm just going to go ahead and click create alert. So then you'll be able to see now that that was created for this service product monitoring, condition product review. Anytime there's a negative review, you'll be notified immediately for the customer service team is who's going to get the emails and you're able to go ahead and turn this off if you were wanting to not receive the emails anymore, go ahead and turn it on. That's how to set up a custom alert within FeedbackWiz.